In this video, I'll show you ways to talk about zero, whether it's the word zero or it's what comes before one, zero, one, two, three, etc. Before one, zero point, and then you can have a number here, zero point five. That would be about halfway between zero and one. One is 1.0. 2 is 2.0 and so on. After the 1, 1.02 or 1.02 or 1.02. When you see a zero, sometimes you'll say zero and at other times you'll say O, oh, depending on the reason for using these kinds of numbers. This could be read 1.0 or 1.0, oh. 1.02 or 1.02, oh, 3.0 or 3.0, oh. 0 0.4 but probably not 0.4. In this case, read this as a zero, 0, 0.4. There are two ways to spell the word zero when it's plural. Either version is okay, but most people here use this. The number 10 has one zero. The number 100 has two zeros. The number 1,000 has three zeros. There's a comma that goes here after the one. And 10,000 has four zeros. The comma goes here, followed by three zeros. When pronouncing the word zero, make sure you're using a Z sound. The sound comes from here, Z. It's almost like an S sound, s -s -s, except there's vibration, z -z -z. and there's vibration here in the vocal cords. This is a voiced consonant sound, so you'll have vibration here and here. Zero. Zero. Here's Fahrenheit and here's Celsius. Zero on the Celsius scale is when water freezes. On the Fahrenheit scale, that's 32 degrees. When you reach zero on the Fahrenheit scale, that's very cold. It's equivalent to 18 degrees below zero Celsius. And here is below zero. Negative 10 degrees is 10 degrees below zero. That's very cold. Sometimes we refer to this as sub-zero. That's below zero. Zero is part of a phrasal verb when zero is a verb. Zero in on, which means to find or focus on. The company is trying to zero in on where it's losing money. So it needs to find the reason why it's losing money. It needs to zero in on the reasons for losing money. Zero can be used as an adjective in this example, zero interest. This means there's no interest. This is used as an adjective for the noun interest. She has zero interest in attending the party. If you're talking about yourself and your level of interest about something, then you can say something like this. I have zero interest. I have no interest. I have zero interest. It is possible to use zero as a type of grade 
for an assignment in school. John got a zero on his essay. So for whatever reason the teacher marked the essay zero, he didn't get any points. This could be for a number of different reasons. A zero sometimes is given for cheating. If a person, for example, uses ChatGPT for an essay, the teacher who finds out might give him a zero. When talking about points scored during a game, such as football, use zero for no points. This team has three points. This team has zero points. The score is three to zero. When talking about standings in a league, a sports league of some kind, then the wins go first and then the losses. This team is four and O. O is often used in place of zero when talking about a loss or a win. They're four and O. This team is three and one, but this team is O and four. Instead of zero and four, it's O and four. When reading numbers, O is often used instead of zero. In this example, the cost of something is $209, or you would say 209 and no dollars, just 209. Or with this address, remember that addresses are read two numbers at a time. So this is 7302 Main Street, not 7,302, 7302. If you take the seven off, and this is the address, then it reads 302, 302 Main Street. Here's a time on a clock. This would be read 804. You could say four minutes after eight, or 804. And for years, this year could be read as 2009 or 2009. This would be 2002. Or drop the 20 and just say 02. 03 is 2003. 04 is 2004.